Vocomp curing and sealing compounds. Vocomp curing and sealing compounds are water-based acrylic products. They are formulated with a proprietary blend of acrylic copolymers and additives. Once properly applied, Vocomp curing and sealing compounds provide moisture retention and a durable, long-lasting finish that offers improved resistance to most chemicals, oil, grease, and abrasives. Color-wise, Vocomp products appear milky white in the container. When first applied, they will leave a bluish cast on the concrete for easy visual identification of coverage. They will dry clear to provide a transparent sheen. When choosing a Vocomp concrete curing and sealing product, here is an easy way to determine which one best suits your needs. Vocomp 20 is a good product. Vocomp 25 is better yet and Vocomp 30 is our premium grade product. For more information on the Vocomp products, check our website. WR Meadows is a leading manufacturer of concrete construction, concrete repair and restoration, and building envelope products and systems, which are available worldwide through an authorized distributor network. Our products are backed by our reputation for quality, service and integrity. For complete information on this product and any others offered by WR Meadows, visit our website and review our products in detail. You can also call us toll free at 1-800-825-5976 or contact your local authorized WR Meadows distributor. WR Meadows is also on social media, so be sure to check out our Facebook, Twitter and YouTube accounts.
air shield, soap adhering air and vapor barrier, and flashing membrane is part of a total WR Meadow system to protect the building enclosure. This roll type product meets or exceeds air leakage tests per ASTM E 2178 01 and ASTM E 2357 and is 40 mils thick. The membrane's controlled thickness is fabricated from cross laminated polyethylene bonded to specially modified asphalt. This unique self adhesive membrane, protected by a special release paper, is strong and durable. It remains flexible when surface mounted and will adhere to most prime surfaces at a minimum temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. For applications at lower temperatures, consider the use of AirShield LT or XLT. The membrane provides excellent protection as a tough barrier that won't shrink, sag, dry out, crack, or rot. It offers excellent resistance to punctures during installation. The self-healing characteristics of AirShield facilitate recovery if minimal damage is sustained under normal use applications, like penetrating it with self-tapping screws or nails. Primary applications include cavity and masonry wall construction. AirShield works equally well as an air and or vapor barrier on precast concrete, cast in place concrete, concrete block masonry, interior and exterior gypsum board, styrofoam, prime steel, aluminum mill finish, anodized aluminum, primed galvanized metal, drywall, and plywood. AirShield may also be used as a through wall flashing and for window and door flashing applications. Before applying AirShield, prepare the substrate according to manufacturer's instructions. All surfaces to which AirShield is to be applied must be addressed with WR Meadows Melprime or Melprime WB Adhesive. Melprime may be applied to an area that is to be covered the same day. Uncovered areas must be readdressed the next day. All surfaces to be protected with air shield must be clean of oil, dust, and excess mortar. They must also be dry, frost-free, and smooth, without large voids, spalled areas, or sharp protrusions. Concrete must be cured a minimum of 14 days and must be dry before air shield is applied. Where curing compounds are used, they must be clear resin-based and without oil, wax, or pigments. Air shield can be applied at a minimum temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius. Air shield low temp is a version of air shield designed for cold weather conditions and can be used in temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 7 degrees Celsius. Air shield XLT can be applied in extra low temperatures as low as 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius. Apply membrane to the previously primed surface by removing the release paper and rolling the membrane firmly into place. Remove the release paper only as the membrane is being applied. Be sure that the membrane is fully adhered and remove all wrinkles and or fish mouths. Cut the air shield membrane with a utility knife to detail around protrusions and masonry reinforcing. Seal all end laps and protrusions with WR Meadows pointing mastic. Overlap subsequent courses of membrane a minimum of two inches. Vertical terminations of air shield should either be tied into the wall system or mechanically fastened with WR Meadows termination bar. Air shield is not designed for permanent exposure so apply insulation as soon as possible to protect the air barrier. When used as a flexible wall flashing, air shield should be recessed one half inch from the face of the masonry. Flashing should not be permanently exposed to sunlight. 
Do not allow the rubberized asphalt surface of the flashing membrane to come in contact with sealants containing solvents, creosote, uncured coal tar products, EPDM, or PVC components. Complete application directions, drying information, and precautions are on the container.